Hey, yo, people! With the complete class rework coming up, hopefully this week, you may be considering starting a new Grenadier or Guardian. These two classes have been present since the start of the game, so they're 10 years old. And while they have been buffed, aside from the introduction of class mastery, no class has had as massive a rework as they are getting soon. This rework really is nearly everything. Their kits have been redone from the ground up, and though they're not going to be new classes in the same way that Stellar Saphir was when it was released, they are definitely going to be new experiences. Today, I've got some tips for you if you're planning on making a new Grenadier or Guardian after the rework. And the first tip is, if you already have a Gren or a Guardian, you don't need to make a new one. Your old character will be adjusted to the new skills the same way any other class buff has worked in the past. I am going to start a Gren from scratch, because um, I have nothing better to do with 11 hours on next Sunday. Join me as I livestream an attempt at Awakening in less time than on Stellar Saphir. But the only normal reason to remake would be to play as one of the kiddos instead of the older genders. Yes, just like with Stellar Saphir, after the rework, you will be able to play Grenadier or Guardian as any of the four different kinds of body type. Just keep in mind, when you make a Chib or a boy, you do not get the option to swap between both genders the same way you do when you choose to play the older female and male types. Also, you can only get married to characters of the same height as yourself. Right now, there are also way less costume options for the kiddos as well, so if fashion is important to you, maybe consider sticking to the older models. Anyway, let's get into some details. In Aura Kingdom, you can have up to 20 characters on your account. That is enough for one of each class. By default, three slots will be unlocked, and for an additional slot, you will need a character expansion card available in the LP store for 1,499 LP. You can mouse over the card to see how many slots you have unlocked. Which brings me to a very small niche case that some players may run into. If your account has less than 20 characters, and you use a slot expansion card, but you still can't make a new character, Check how many slots you've unlocked in total. If you were playing since the area days and had characters on all servers before Hydra and Siren combined to Phoenix and then merged with Chimera to make Olympus, you may have characters in your account that are grandfathered in without having unlocked a slot. You can confirm this by checking how many you have unlocked on the expansion card. And on top of that, if you have 21 characters or more from all this merging, you will not be able to make any new characters until you go down below the cap and use all of the expansion cards, and you will never be able to get back those slots over 20. If you are deleting characters, two things to note. Make sure to check all your gear tabs and fishing gear and send your other characters all your G and goods worth saving, uh, spend any tokens that are restricted to the character, and add your costumes and mounts back to the shared storage. And second, there's a daily deletion limit. I believe the limit is 8 per day, but it may have been lowered. Let me know if you hit it. If you need to delete characters to make a new one, keep that in mind and get started at the appropriate day. I've talked about starting Eidolon choices before, but it bears a quick repeat. Alina is a great all-around choice for any character as a starter DPS Eidolon, especially with her long stun. Merrily has a handy move speed buff as default on her stars, which makes her quite usable long term if you have great elemental Eidolons and don't need that from your starter. Grim is an okay choice if you're playing a flame-oriented class, Chiyu is okay for dark, Alessa is okay for holy, but Seraph is 100% defense-oriented and doesn't provide any lightning support. The new Gren looks like it will probably be lightning, flame, or physical, while the new Guardian will definitely be lightning or physical only, as that's what all of its skills are. So, I recommend Alina or Merrily as your starter Eidolon, but you may want to take a different one if you're missing a certain starter Eidolon so far, for wish purposes, and don't really need them to function long term. Next up, gear. Unlike when a brand new class is released, you can actually start crafting gear instead of just prepping cores. And you can even start buying gold gear out of the encyclopedia because we already have everything we need. I went through the Gren weapons, comparing our versions against the Taiwan database, and I can confirm that the weapon effects related to skills have been adjusted in some cases, but at a glance this seems to be an equivalent effect. For example, Blockhead's Nemesis Incinerator has plus 5 to Machine Gun Turret for us right now, while in Taiwan it is still plus 5, but to a skill that is brand new. Google Translate calls this Magnetic Light Tweet, but it's subject to official translation, of course. 
The effect on the S25 gold weapon, if you're already endgame, has not been adjusted, so no unexpected nerf or buff there. Out of consideration for players who are already at endgame, I wouldn't anticipate any of the weapons being significantly nerfed even if they are changed. Next, let's talk about XP for just a brief moment. I went into a lot of detail in my old video, Getting Ready for Dragon Nunchaku, and all of that advice is basically still valid. I encourage you to check that out after this, especially if you plan to use EXP books to explain how to get the most out of the big boys, the 20k DP ones, as well as making sure you don't waste your sprites. There will be a link in the description and up top over there. Uh, but there is one difference between back then and now. Warehouse access. I mentioned it in my June updates video, but the first place you're going to be able to access the shared warehouse is now Navia, or if you join a guild with a guild hall, 24 hours after you join a guild. Warehouse cards from the LP store do not work until level 25, and if you want to get your hands on a pink VIP sprite before then, you're going to need to either leave one in your Paragon prize pool, or... Nope, that's basically it. You need to be able to access one in your Paragon prize pool. There are VIP sprites on the table as I write this, so if you haven't pulled one out, think about it before you do. Ditto for the Elite Guardian sprite, but these are in the LP store, so basically just make sure you have your LP pre-farmed so you can get one right away. At the very least, your costumes in your costume archive will be accessible immediately, so don't worry about that. I recommend pre-dying things so they're ready to go as soon as you're out of the starting cutscene. Anyway, please enjoy this video as the final footage of my little Gren Geosis, who will be sacrificed for my new little guy next Sunday, and some current Guardian gameplay to see what we came from, as I really think this will be the last few days for these classes to look like this. Here's to the past, into the future. I'll be putting together an updated class skill compilation for both Grenadier and Guardian as well, so watch out for that. And thank you so much for watching, and catch you next time.